Hello and a very warm welcome back to the Beesinger Fire Journey channel. So cryptocurrency is a hot topic of discussion, but knowing what it is exactly and how to invest in it can be confusing. So I've created this video to act as a guide and is designed to help all people better understand cryptocurrency and provide a foundation before making or not making the decision to invest in it. This guide will cover what exactly cryptocurrency is, how it works, the different types of cryptocurrency investing options available, and some tips to keep in mind on what to consider before investing. First and foremost, thank you again for tuning in to today's video. I'm Jordan Biesinger, and in this channel, I love sharing ways to increase financial literacy with finance and investing tips for you. During today's video, if you find something helpful or interesting, please leave a like and comment below. We would be thrilled if you subscribe to our journey. All right, so let's start off. Technology is constantly changing and improving, and so does our currency. Digital currency evolves along technological advancements, replacing physical currency like paper notes or coins. The electronic exchange of money via bank accounts or electronic payments using credit cards is the method we use in our daily lives. You can call it an early type of digital money. Digital currency is money that you exchange electronically for products or services. This includes bank-to-bank -bank virtual transfers, an internet banking system, or the usage of a smartphone that carries a user's card details, primarily by debit or credit cards. Today, we call these types of digital transactions traditional methods of money exchange. As digital money is a reason for less usage of physical currency, now a new type of digital currency is the talk of the town, known as cryptocurrency. So cryptocurrency, what is it exactly? Cryptocurrency is a type of digital money that you may know as electronic or virtual currency. It enables electronic payments and works similarly to traditional currencies that rely on actual money. Along with the electronic exchange, you can exchange traditional currency physically with notes and coins easily. But in the case of cryptocurrencies, you can utilize them electronically with computer code only. It does not come in any tangible form. Unlike paper currency, Central authorities do not issue a cryptocurrency. Hence, the value of cryptocurrency remains unaffected by monetary policy, inflation, or economic development. On the other hand, certain factors can affect the value of cryptocurrencies, like the cost of creation or mining. The most effective technique for creating a cryptocurrency, for example, Bitcoin, is mining. Mining is a time-consuming method in which computers solve complicated algorithms to confirm the validity of network transactions. Other cryptocurrencies may employ different techniques to produce and sell tokens. So how does cryptocurrency actually work? There is a significant percentage of cryptocurrencies existing independently without the involvement of a central bank or government. The developers use decentralized blockchain technology for cryptocurrencies, a digital ledger system. So this ledger system keeps track of transactions of cryptocurrency. One of the essential features of this technology is that the whole public can view it. Neither a single party can change it nor control it. Therefore, making cryptocurrency safe for online transactions and impossible to copy. Developers of blockchain also claim that it can improve data accessibility and security. Blockchain is the foundation of all cryptocurrencies. Some cryptos serve a utility purpose. They are a collection of cryptocurrencies that work together to form an infrastructure. They make it possible to build alternative cryptocurrencies on top of their networks. Investors of cryptocurrency do not keep their funds in regular bank accounts. Instead, they possess digital addresses. These addresses include private and public keys. They are long sequences of numbers and letters that allow cryptocurrency users to transfer money. Unlocking and sending cryptocurrencies requires private keys. Public keys, however, are available to the public and permit the possessor to receive cryptocurrencies from anyone. Now, what do you want to consider before jumping into investing of cryptocurrency? It's important to note that the safety of cryptocurrencies depends on how much you want to utilize them. So cryptocurrency is relatively safe in terms of security and confidentiality for digital transactions. But here's the catch. It is a high-risk investment because of its uncertain and unpredictable characteristics. Consider these tips before investing in cryptocurrency. Number one, this is common logic but all too often missed. Don't waste your money on something that is beyond your comprehension. Set some time aside to study everything you can to understand the cryptocurrency you're interested in. 
Learning about the fundamentals of crypto is critical. The next tip is to make sure you understand what type of investor that you are, as this determines the variance of investments suitable for you in the short term and the long term. Make sure to set boundaries on how much you invest in a particular digital currency. Remember to never risk more money than your capacity to lose it. There is a higher chance of losing money in this sort of investment. If you're a beginner or new to this field of cryptocurrency, first invest just a small amount. Another tip is that prices might fluctuate substantially from day to day. When prices are low, inexperienced traders start panicking and selling off their assets. Cryptocurrencies are not going away anytime soon, so investing in them for months or even years at a time could yield better return. Next, remember that trading bots are effective in different situations, but they are for beginners searching for cryptocurrency investment advice. They could be hidden scams. One should be very careful with this. Next, the best way to make a wise investment is to look back at previous outcomes of particular crypto and explore trends that could indicate future development. Okay, so remember it requires skill to manage risk, which is especially important when dealing with assets like cryptocurrencies. If you're a beginner trader, you'll need to grasp ways to manage risk and build a strategy to help you avoid losing too much money. This is a vital step when you're preparing to invest in cryptocurrency. So what types of cryptocurrency investing options are available? When people talk about crypto, Bitcoin is the one that generally gets all the attention. In reality, there are thousands of other potential options that people just don't know about. For a better understanding of crypto, we are dividing it into four categories. POW, which is proof of work, proof of stake, POS, stablecoin, and token. So first is proof of work that I'd like to touch on. So proof of work, this sort of crypto is one like Bitcoin, which depends on blockchain technology and processes transactions using a concept known as proof of work. It is an inextricably secure and reliable system. Aside from making cryptocurrencies practical, blockchain technology's security is finding its way into various other businesses. Currently, there are two most popular and valuable cryptocurrencies in terms of trading volume count on POW. These two are Bitcoin and Ethereum. It primarily functions like currency. Bitcoin contains a finite number of coins. These coins enhance the demand and strengthen their perceived value. The maximum supply of Bitcoin, for example, is 21 million set by Bitcoin's creator. So just a little more on Bitcoin. It is an online alternative to cash with the largest market capitalization. It was introduced in 2009, the world's first and most popular cryptocurrency. All right, so let's talk about proof of stake or POS. Proof of stake is the ultimate solution for growing challenges that proof of work technologies are presently not possible to address. Not every node in a POS system must authenticate every transaction. To enter a transaction assurance group, participating nodes must utilize their Bitcoin holdings as a deposit. The idea of proof of stakes draws its name from that deposit. POS blockchains are now a reliable source for several cryptos. For example, EOS, Dash, and Tron are common among them. Ethereum 1, POW, is also upgraded into Ethereum 2, POS, using proof of stake. Now a little bit more on Ethereum. It uses blockchain technology that allows the creation of smart contracts and other decentralized applications. It is the most common way that people use to create new cryptocurrencies. Ethereum blockchains perform a substantial amount of transactions. Ethereum already possesses over 1 million transactions per day, and the upgrade may skyrocket that number. Without any third party, you can access Ethereum from any location. For the trade of digital assets, many platforms employ Ethereum as a currency. All right, now on to stable coins. These are digital currencies that link with fiat currencies or valuables such as gold. Stable coins allow consumers to sell in an asset equal to the national currency. They are a combination of tokens and traditional cryptos, but you can trade them for fiat cash. They are essential in the market because they allow for day-to-day -day recurring transactions free of volatility. Tether, Paxos, Gemini are examples of stable coins. Now traditional cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum can change dramatically in value over a short period, making them difficult to handle at times. Tether on the other hand is a stable coin and that combines the advantages of cryptocurrency with the stabilization of a government issued currency. Tether frequently acts as a bridge using Tether instead of returning to dollars. Now tokens. Tokens are configurable assets that allow development and execution of unique contracts. 
So tokens differ from typical cryptocurrencies because you cannot use them as a medium of exchange. They are not a currency, but rather a unit of measure that exists on top of the structure like an existing crypto, like Ethereum. They represent tangible assets like real estate, valuables, and digital assets. Basic Attention Tokens, BAT, is worth using the token available right now. A BAT, Basic Attention Token, is a cryptocurrency that aims to create a virtuous advertising cycle that benefits both creators and consumers. It is a cryptocurrency that runs on Ethereum and incorporates a unique web browser called Brave. Its purpose is to make commerce easier for all three parties. Now, should you invest in cryptocurrency? Many people have asked themselves, should I invest in cryptocurrency? When considering investing in cryptocurrency, you must consider and weigh out the pros and cons. It's been 13 years since the introduction of cryptocurrency, and people are still hesitant to invest in it. The reason for that hesitation is its volatility. The viability of cryptocurrencies depends very much on investors' financial goals and risk tolerance. It will determine whether crypto is a good investment or not. And remember, to provide the best opportunity to gain economic advantages with crypto is to make sure you're ready to take risks. Make sure you do your homework and learn about risk management. So what are your thoughts on cryptocurrency? Please drop a comment below and make sure to subscribe to not miss out on more content soon to come.